What's up everyone? On this super quick production tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add custom presets into Serum. So if I go to here, you can see I have a huge list of presets. Here's how you do it. For some reason, Serum, not going to lie, makes this really complicated because if you go to load a preset, it automatically defaults to this location. Don't know why. So anyway, here's how you do it. First thing you do is going to go to menu and then you're going to go down here to show Serum presets folder. Now at this point, I'm going to go to them presets, and this is my entire list of presets, also organized by folder. So let's say if I want to have, you know, as you can see, some of these are from some companies like Cymatics or RPS, for example. But let's say I'm like, I want some house presets, base presets, leads, pads, etc. I can make a custom folder. So let's say I'm going to do this instead. Let's say I'm going to add one in. So I'm going to call it. I don't know, let's say, we call it neat. Let's say I have like some really neat presets. I don't know. Really bad name, but let's say I want to do that. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to click it here. And just like you're moving anything on your computer, I'm then going to bring in the preset. So I have this one called kind of like a whistle. Bring it in like so. And then what I'm going to do when I go back to Serum is I'm going to close it out. So you want to basically close out Serum, then reopen it. Now when I pull Serum back up, I'm going to go down here. You can see I have the neat folder now, that section. Click kind of like a whistle, it pops up. That's how you do it. 